Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It feels so weird saying that after three months. I cannot believe I have not posted at all in three months since Tyler and I went to New York City to pick out our engagement rings. I was doing so good with it, balancing this and work and wedding planning. And honestly, guys, I just dropped the ball. For those of you that don't know, my name is Sydney. If this is your first time on my channel, I love to make videos of everyday life content, cooking, um, wedding things, Honestly, any ideas that I get, I just like to pull the camera out and film it. I have a lot of Trader Joe's hauls, all these hauls, and just everyday life. I am engaged to my fiance, Tyler, and we have two Basset Hounds, Hank and Maeve, and we live in upstate New York, and that's kind of a little brief bio on me, but I'm so happy to be back here and filming videos for you guys and just keeping you updated. I feel like we are at the most exciting parts of our lives right now. We are getting married in 28 days, which is insane to me. I cannot believe how fast this process has gone by. So I figured I would spend this vlog bringing you guys around with us this weekend, showing you some wedding stuff, some house stuff, some grocery stuff, and just getting back into the swing of it. I do have a Celsius. Please excuse how sick I sound. Tyler and I have been nonstop running to other weddings, traveling in different states. He had his bachelor party. We've just been hanging out with friends and family and going out to dinner and drinks. And we have not been saying no lately to a lot of things. So we have decided we are going to try to have a minimal spend June and just spend a lot of time at home. Enjoy this as we get closer to our wedding because before we know it, we will be on our wedding day and then we are actually going to Paris in Italy. Italy for our honeymoon, which we will absolutely be vlogging for you guys. So we are so excited. We're just happy to kind of reset, be at our home base and bring you guys along with us. Um, so pretty much, like I said, I'm drinking my Celsius. I got these from all of these yesterday, which I didn't know they carry them. It is the Kiwi Guava. These are my favorite. And I started off today going to a nine o'clock in the morning workout class over the past five months, I've been committing to a studio called The Hot Yoga Spot. It's by me in upstate New York. I think there's like six locations and I am obsessed. I typically do the bar boot camps and it's kind of a mixture of like hit Pilates, um, light weights, like two, three pounds. We do bands, balls, squats, abs, arms, all of the good stuff. And honestly, I am feeling so good. I've noticed a change in my body. I feel confident. And it's the longest commitment I've had to a workout. I try to go like three times a week and I love my trainers. I love the people in my classes. So it was really nice to do the Saturday class because I typically don't. I'm more of like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday girl but I had some time. I am not working today. So I figured I would kick my day off with that. And then I just came home and watched some Netflix. I'm not even going to lie to you. I chilled on the couch for the past two hours. And then I was like, okay, it's a perfect day. Let's get up. Let's film a video and kind of catch you guys up with everything that's been going on. So I'm going to show you some wedding stuff in a minute. I had a really big order from Zazzle. So I'll kind of give you guys some sneak previews of some of the programs and the menus and some other fun bar things that will be at the wedding. So if you were a wedding guest for my wedding, flip past it or you'll have a little bit of a sneak preview of what you're gonna see but I want to start off with an Aldi's haul first and show you guys some really good finds I found last night I went at like seven o'clock on a Friday and they were restocking the entire store which was crazy so I figured I would show you guys what I think is good and then some things we've already been snacking on that I can actually give a review but it was priced really reasonably and I can't believe I found Celsius there. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you guys what it is. All right, this fridge needs to be organized. It's never been this messy before. But before I get started, I wanna show you guys my newest obsession is this Chobani S'more Creamer. I am a creamer aholic. I have tried every kind, I have tried every brand, and this by far is my favorite. Something about this, it just tastes like summer, and it's the Chobani Real Dairy. Sometimes I go between oat, sometimes I do real dairy, but guys, I've loved this so much that I've bought two of these back to back. I just finished my first and I'm halfway through my second. Please go out and get this. The cookies and cream is next on my list to try because I heard it's amazing. And then if I'm giving myself a little treat, I've been putting this on top of my coffee too. I've talked about this before on my channel. I love it. It's like 10 calories for two tablespoons. Um, and it's really good on top. I feel like it just makes it a treat. And I do the coconut and espresso pods with this combo. Guys, it's insane. So definitely check that out. But let's see. Some random stuff I can show you. I did make the Aldi's um, Primavera like vegetable pasta yesterday. It was pretty good. We have a little left that I will probably eat for lunch. 
but I'm thinking tonight for dinner, I'll show you guys. We're going to make this mild sweet Italian sausage, and then I'm also going to make these tomato and basil. I wanted the apple ones so bad, but they were out, um, but that's what I think we're going to make tonight. In the freezer, they also had these Jimmy Dean Delights. I had one of these for breakfast this morning after my workout. They were really good. 19 grams of protein. Um, I think it's potatoes. Yeah, egg whites, turkey sausage, cheddar cheese. Pretty mom. And then lastly, we do not have kids, but I bought these kid snacks and these were really good. They're little baby like peanut butter and jelly bites and they're in six packs. I really like them. Tyler hasn't tried them yet. We are big peanut butter and jelly people. So I was excited to find these and I feel like they're just very simple. So that's kind of the skinny on that. I should organize this pantry today, but also guys, I've been taking this for a month. This is the Amino Lean. I think I heard of this from Alex Earl on TikTok. I am obsessed, guys. There's no added sugar. Um, tastes like strawberry lemonade or, sorry, pink lemonade. They have so many different kinds. But this doesn't make me jittery or anything itchy. This is just so good. And I honestly look forward to drinking this before my workouts. So that's kind of my little thing with that. And let's move on to wedding stuff. Okay, you guys are getting the super secret scoop. These are our programs that are going to be sitting on the chairs at the ceremony. I'm just covering the venue <laughs> with my thumb. I'm just trying to keep it a little private until we actually get married there. Um, the venue is like two hours away from us and all of our family and friends are traveling in. But these are really pretty sage green from Zazzle. This is the entire theme of our invitation suites as well. And then underneath this one, it is a white one that goes over the ceremony. I don't want to show the full details of this just to keep some people private and personal and not everyone likes their names being shared on YouTube. So the front side is going to be that beautiful sage green and then the back is the white. And then Zazzle gave us popsicle sticks and glue to put these programs together. So that's on my agenda with my mom this weekend. Which brings me into the next part of my beautiful box. This box, I think my mom got from TJ Maxx. I know they sell them at Hobby Lobby too. This is my bridal shower card box. I will insert some pictures here. Guys, my mom threw me the best bridal shower ever. My maid of honor, my bridesmaids, family and friends threw in. It was just a citrus wonderland dream. Fun fact about me, love lemons, oranges, honestly, anything citrus I just am obsessed with. So I'm so excited to show you guys those pictures. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty frequently so you guys can kind of see pictures that I don't post on YouTube. Um, but I did do a short, a YouTube short of the bridal shower. So check that out if you haven't seen it. I am repurposing this box as kind of some important um stuff I ordered from Zazzle, and I also wanted to show you guys our invitation suites. So first things first, I ordered these belly bands. You guys will see I kept a consistent theme for the designer. I will link them down below of who we used. And then we had these really pretty please reply cards that had a QR code on them. These are the actual invitations. I think I can like try to do this one-handed without showing you guys the address and all that. But they were just like reversible. It says like with our parents, Tyler, and then my new last name, Dolan. I'm just really happy with these. It's coming up a little different on camera, but the flowers are actually that sage green. So we tried to keep some things white with sage text and then something sage with white text. But I felt like these were really nice. And then I will try to flip them around and here is the back. So those are where our wedding invites. We were super happy with those. The em envelopes were a classic. They were that nice sage. They're coming up. Oop, didn't mean to zoom out there. They're coming up pretty grand camera. I don't know why, but everything is like a really pretty satin sage. Um, I'm not going to flip them around because our addresses are there, but I was really happy with the quality of these. Flipping my way through some other things I will show you guys that I have to bring over to my mom's to store is a cake cutter. Gold is the metallic that we're going to be doing throughout the wedding. So I got these from Hobby Lobby for 15, 50% off, which was a steal and I'm obsessed with those. And then lastly, some other secret decor I'll show you. We ordered 
Hank and Maeve's heads on little sticks to be handed out at the bar, and they say, let's potty, and this is Maeve's head. They did such a good job, guys, and then this is Hank's head. We are so excited. We have a lot of acrylic at our wedding, so this was perfect, and that is all I am showing you for sneak previews. You guys will see the rest in a video. I'll make sure that I get some clips at the wedding so you can see the setup, and I feel like I'll do a recap of decor when I'm back from my honeymoon showing you, like, all the signs from Etsy and where I got them. Lots of blacks, whites, acrylics. We're super pumped. This is my shoe bag and my wedding jewelry. I do not want to share anything specific. I want it to be a surprise for this part, but I will say I got a really pretty hair piece from Etsy. I will show you guys this after the wedding. And then I did get my jewelry from Olive and Piper. I am obsessed with them. Check them out. They have a lot of good stuff for bridesmaids. Um, maid of honor, mother of the bride, the whole nine. So putting those in my shoe box. I will tell you, I did the Bagley Mishka shoes. I will give a little hint. I am obsessed with them. And I just had my third fitting, which is why those are sitting right here. But I'm obsessed. And that's it because my mom is storing it all, which is really nice. All right, I have you guys propped up in my office. And now that we have the wedding sneak preview stuff done, I want to get into the honeymoon outfits. I have had a collective haul going and waiting to show you guys. And the time is finally here. I highly recommend doing a collective haul. It honestly costs less buying things as you go. And I'm really trying to buy pieces that I am obsessed with. Honestly, I will like put them in my cart, wait and sit about it. And then if I'm sure I'll buy them. And I'm also trying to repurpose some things that I already own. So I'm gonna show you guys lots of fun prints, but then also I've got some timeless pieces that I feel like I will wear time and time again. Also, apologies, the dogs just woke up. So if you hear them walking around, barking at each other, it's Hank and Babe in the background. But first, let's start with Princess Polly because I got a lot of really good stuff there and I'm excited to show you. So my, probably as the hanger falls on the ground, my most exciting piece, I think, is this newspaper long skirt that I plan on wearing in Paris. So we're doing Paris and Italy, like I said in the beginning of this vlog. I'm trying to like put outfits where I think I'll wear them and I may start packing today because even though we're 28 days away, I know that I'm also going to have wedding stuff and be very busy, so I need to get this done. But this is a size four. I will link everything down below if they still have it. It is the Morning Story mini skirt size four. I really wanted the matching top. They were completely sold out of it. So I'm gonna try to keep an eye on it. But if I can't, I'm just gonna wear a classic black crop top. I feel like this will be really cute. You could also do like a tucked in bodysuit. I'll give you like a close up what it looks like. I just think this is so fun. So Princess Polly and most of this stuff was on sale. Like I said, I'll link it down below if I can still find it, but that was really fun. Next is a set that I also saw, and this is the um, Clementine Floral Mini Skirt in Multi. This is really pretty. It's got a cool knot detail here, so I'll kind of show you guys. It like splits, but it's not that revealing. Pretty knot, mini skirt, size four, and then the matching top is this one sorry guys i have like all of these clothes in a pile to show you so i don't run out of time and this looks very small it's a size four but i promise guys when you put it on it is so stretchy the model had this paired together it's like this asymmetrical strapless top it's got that sticky lining so it doesn't slip off nice zipper in the back and it's almost just like a towel-y, velvety material. And I feel like this will be really cute for Italy, especially when it's like really hot nights. This is the um, Tiaia strapless top in green size four, probably butchering that, but I feel like this is a really cute set and I am extremely excited to wear this. I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this even at home. It's a really cute outfit. Moving on to some other things, I have another set from Princess Polly, and this one is called the Chadwick Mini Skirt Red Floral, and it's also the Chadwick Top. Super cute. You guys are getting a consistent theme here. There's no slit in this one. It's got like a cream florally vibe, and this was on sale, guys. I think this entire set for like $16. I could be wrong, but I remember it being ridiculously cheap. And then the top is another strapless moment, ruffles. It's got that same nice elastic. This is a little bit longer one. Get up close so you guys can see. I am obsessed. And stretchy, cute. I feel like this would be cute with chunky wedges or a sandal. 
So lots of sets this summer. I think it's easy. And then if you want to make different outfits, you could just take the top and wear like white linen pants, take the skirt, do a white top. You can really intermingle these or wear them together. And I got all of these on sale, which is crazy. Last thing for Princess Polly that I want to show you guys is a dress I got for Paris. And I got this specifically for when we go to museums. I know that sounds funny, but I envision this really pretty pink dress with like a white chunky uh, sneaker. It's got really nice um, puff sleeves. I will be taking pictures of all my outfits in Italy and Paris. So follow me on Instagram for when I post those. But it's kind of an asymmetrical moment. I'll try to zip it up so you guys can see. I got this in a six. I should have got it in a four, but it will work. And it's kind of got like very little cutouts. So it's not exposing. It's kind of hard to see. I'll try to link it so you guys can see it on the model. I just think this hot pink is really fun. I love a puff sleeve, how feminine it is with like a gold jewelry stack, some chunky wedges or sneakers, like I said, and it's that linen look. I've kind of got that consistent linen summer vibe going on. And this was also on sale for under 25 bucks. So I'll link this down below if it's still there so I can show you guys. But that was a super exciting find, which let's do Amazon next because I have a lot of good stuff there, starting with this maxi dress. Now, my friend Olivia and Maddie have this dress in a different color. Um, one of them wore them, I think, to their trip in Italy and then for my bachelorette party. And I was like, I need that dress in a different color. So I did this really pretty blue pink. It's got a cowl neck, open back Amazon, super cheap, under 20 bucks, all the way down to the floor. I'll get closer so you guys can see. They have it in like a limish yellow green. So pretty, comes in so many different colors. It's very flattering. Now that I think about it, I think my friend Ava wore the pink version to my bridal shower, but it's stretchy, it's cute. It's got really low straps and I just feel like it's perfect for Italy honeymoon and you could also wear like a denim jacket over it if it gets cold. I could wear this at home um, for things that we've got going on here. So this was a really good Amazon find that I think is super cute. Staying on the Amazon theme, I've got some really fun uh, corsets I found. Some of these for Italy and then some for just simply being home, denim shorts. I really like strapless in the summer, avoiding lines. So the first one I want to show you is probably my favorite and it's this really pretty blue and white corset. I'll get close so you guys can see. It ties up the back. You can make it as, you know, loose or as tight as you want. I got these in a medium. I should have done a small. They are a little big on me, but I am obsessed. This one I'm gonna bring to Italy and wear with a white skirt that I already own or like white shorts. I just think that this is so fun. I know that this is a dupe for a very popular designer. I do not know the name though. So if you do, let me know down below because I would love to buy the dress version of this, but super good Amazon find. And again, super affordable. I think this was under $10. I hope the prices don't randomly go up and I'm saying all these great deals and then you guys go to look and they're more expensive, but this was a really good find and nice quality. Next one is another corset. So this one's a little different and this one actually has like a metal metal front. I'll show you guys. It's got like a nice eyelet material, kind of put it together here so you get the full look, but it's black and white. It ties at the top. So you would wear it like this and then take the black ties, make it super tight. And then the back is just like a black corset. It looks so wide, guys, it's a medium. I should have got a small. So when I wear this, I'm gonna have to tie it really tight. It kind of clips up at the top here. But I just thought this would be fun with like a black skirt, do a black and white moment. You could even dress it down with jeans, I think is always really cute. But I was super interested in this one because of the eyelet. I'll get close so you guys can see. And then the black is like this really pretty black um, velvet. And it's not too short, which I also like. It is definitely a nice fitting crop top. And I like how it's kind of got the darker details, but also feminine at the same time. So another good find from Amazon. And these all came with Prime, which was super cool. It was really fast shipping. And then the last one I am not bringing with me to my honeymoon. This was actually for my cousin's bachelorette trip in Nashville that I didn't get to wear, but I have been seeing denim on denim is back. It is popular this summer. So I'm just gonna wear this around when we are home this summer, going out like dinner, drinks with friends. 
and it's just this really cute denim crop top. I feel like we're going back to the 90s. I've got jeans that basically match this, and I think it would be so cute with like a lace-up black heel or something fun, but if you have a trip planned to Nashville or like Austin, Texas, this is literally perfect, but I will say size up with this. Got a small, should have got a medium. Um, it doesn't even have who made it on here. It was a cheap Amazon find, but I feel like this is so cute and really trendy right now. So definitely check that out. I think my last Amazon piece, this took like two months to come. It is a Skims dupe. It is a really pretty green long sleeve. I saw this on Julia um, and Hunter's channel. I have a short sleeve version in gray that came so fast. It's so flattering. I've gotten so many compliments on it. I'll leave it linked down below. This is the green long sleeve version. I had originally bought this for my spring wardrobe when it was colder and it took so long to come. So now I'm not really wearing long sleeves, but I guess for like summer nights, if you wanted something warm, it's a really good skims dupe. It's really stretchy, um, size small for this and it's something different. You could also technically probably wear this in a workout. My workout classes get so hot, I wear like biker shorts and literally sports bras, but this is cute. You dress it up, dress it down. It looks really good on everyone. So I do highly recommend it. Maybe just find a seller that it comes quicker. But that was a little crazy. Moving on to Amazon or TJ Maxx, sorry. I have been going to TJ Maxx more frequently lately just because I feel like they're making a comeback. I feel like I was going for a few months and there was literally nothing. And now all of a sudden there's all of this cute stuff. So I will show you guys um, what I've been collecting. This first one is from the Beach Lunch Lounge line. This is really popular. They seem to have it all the time now. And I picture just wearing this like on the beach. It could be a cover up. You can wear it with shorts. I wanna go back and get like a multicolor one. Um, I have this dress I'm obsessed with from J. Crew Factory last year. And they had a shirt with this print and I feel like that would be so fun. So I need to go back and see if they still have it or like a pink version, but this was $16.99. This is a size medium. I oversized so that it would cover more and it is just so soft and nice guys. I cannot wait to wear this in Italy. I feel like even like nights out eating and drinking Aperol spritz, this is a vibe. So you could also probably wear this to work. I've seen girls take these with like black dress pants and flats. I think that's really cute, easy to throw on for meetings, especially even home on Zoom. 10 out of 10 recommend. I will be wearing more of these all summer long. That was a really good find. Which brings me into some other things that I'm bringing back and that is linen shorts. So I have these linen shorts, TG Maxx from the brand Love Tree, size small, $12.99 guys. They are so classic. They're giving me like Sophia Richie vibes. If you guys are up to date with her entire iconic style change, it is just timeless and pretty. So I am excited to wear these with like a bodysuit maybe. Getting into more athleisure, I feel like we're in that tennis golf era. I do actually golf, so I will be wearing these outfits, but I got these specifically for the honeymoon and just kind of traveling or casual wear on a Saturday. It's really easy to throw on an athletic dress in sandals when you're running errands. So I wanted to get some more pieces. This first one is a matching set from the Sincerely Jewels Active Line, size small, really cute white collar. It's got the white trim all along it. This is $29.99, which is a solid steal for a golf tennis outfit. And it actually has the collar that a lot of courses want you to be wearing. And it came with a matching skirt that I think is so cute. I cannot wait to wear this. I think we're gonna golf one day in Italy. Tyler tries to golf when we go on trips to new courses, which I get. So I think we're gonna do that, but I am just obsessed. My best friend Olivia and I got matching sets of this because it's just a timeless classic, anything black and white. And the quality is really good. It's got pockets, the whole nine. I am super excited about this. And then last athletic set out of my pile that I need to hang up is this Calvin Klein active dress. I don't have a classic black dress with a collar on it. It is a really lightweight material. And then it's got a really cute collar. It's got the classic CK in the back. I just think it's cute. That's it. I will wear it doing some sort of actual activity, but then I can also picture myself just wearing this on the weekend and it's a really good length. This one was $34.99. Says it's usually 50, it's Calvin Klein, so that could be why, but solid steel from, this one I think was actually, 
this was TJ Maxx. Sometimes Marshalls and TJ Maxx carries the same things, but stellar find. I am very excited about this. Good success with shoes at TJ Maxx. These being these chunky sneakers that I am going to wear. I've got plain white ones I'm gonna wear with that pink dress, but I figured these were really cute to wear with like other dresses or shorts. And these were, I'll tell you guys, $29.99 size nine is the brand Mia. And it's got like gray detailing to them. These were like the shoes featured in the front. So they were really popular that week. And I am obsessed. I am so disappointed in myself, guys. I finished that haul and I'm like, I know there is more I wanted to show them. The bathing suits. Literally the most important part of a coastal vacation, a honeymoon. I ordered from Strawberry Milk Mob. Now, if you don't know who that is, you gotta check them out on uh, TikTok. I am obsessed and she has such fun prints. They do random drops like once a week of cool prints and I'm so excited to wear these. I have gone on a boat day since and I didn't wear them. I've been really good saving them for my honeymoon. So let me show you guys. Let's start off with my first one. Let's do my favorite. This is the citrus one. Duh. After I told you guys I love citrus. And um, these are both in a size small. Very cheeky. Some of them are very cheeky. Some of them are coverage. So definitely read her reviews and the sizing ranges for all of them. So you really want to read the description box. But how pretty. Like floral bright print. And then it's got the feminine orange beautiful checkered sides. I am just obsessed. Can we even? How cute are those? And they just have really cute marketing. So it's Strawberry Milk Mob. And then that's like their little logo. Thought it was fun. I cannot wait to wear this on a boat. And then the matching top is this beautiful, literally this is the swimsuit of my dreams. Ruffle top. It is this, like that. Feminine, ties around the back and a bow. I'm just obsessed. I mean, on camera, it is showing up exactly what it looks like. And this is in a size small too. So this is the citrus one. I think she's bringing those back. So definitely check them out. And then this next one, I don't remember the name of this one, to be honest with you. So I'll have to link it down below if she still has it. This one is way higher cut of a bottom. So you guys will see it's got a little more coverage on the back. It's one of the high leg ones. But what I liked about this one was it was just a crazy print. I feel like it's fun. It's something I've never seen before. Size small, super flattering, very stretchy. And I tried them on. They make me feel super confident. Impressed. Love them. Brings me to the top, which is also very different. It is a halter, but it kind of goes back like this. So these will sit. So it's kind of like a bra style, which I've been into. It's got these white chunky clips on the top, ties around the back, size small, very adjustable, good full coverage. I'm a 34B top and it fits me really nice in that way. And again, matching, I just think it's super cool, fun print. I've been trying to get my friends <laughs> to order from them. She's been dropping so many new styles and prints. She's getting into some more black and white neutrals if that's your style. So check it out. And then the last one I ordered from her is a one piece. I got this in a medium because one pieces can be hard. I am five six, so I don't want it to be too tight, too short. I want to make sure that it was long enough. And it's just this really pretty cream one piece. So the top goes like this, like a classic actual bikini top. I'll try to do this without having to try it on. And then it goes like this. This is skill, guys. <laughs> so it looks like this. And it's got that really pretty thick cream on the side. And then it's just like a ton of cutouts. The back is also a cutout. I will get pictures in this on the trip. And you guys will see them on my Instagram. So those are the bikinis. I'm sure I will buy more from her over the summer. But I had to limit myself because of how many I bought for my bachelorette trip. So I am for sure good now. But I will leave these linked down below with my size so you guys can check them out. I cannot believe it's dinner time. So I'm making a meal. I showed you guys basically out of the Aldi's haul. So it's not um, very nice out. It's kind of on and off raining. So I'm going to do a sheet pan with these sausages. Tomato, basil, mild Italian. I feel like those pair well all together and then i'm gonna make brussels sprouts we really like cutting these up and doing different seasonings on a pan you can make them salty make them sweet but i think i'm gonna try to do this kinder's um prime steak with garlic truffle which may be good if it's not i've always got my classic backup oregano virgin olive oil garlic onion black pepper and parsley I feel like it's a killer combo for anything. And then it's all about balance in this house. So we're doing the white cheddar and black pepper uh, macaroni, which I think will be really good. But before I get started in preparing the Brussels, I wanted to show you guys some wedding registry gifts we've gotten. 
my friends and family, Tyler's friends and family, everyone was so generous and kind. So starting off, we got a lot of stuff from Crate and Barrel, beautiful pie dish that I cannot wait to bake in. You guys know I love making pies. I really love the pistachio jello pie. So I'm excited to use that for both cold and hot pies. Really pretty popcorn dish from Crate and Barrel. This is perfect for movie nights. And then this beautiful casserole dish. You guys can see we like everything the same kind of creamy color. Um, so excited about this. I love my hash brown or my tater tot casserole. Excuse me. I have a video on that from last Memorial Day. Perfect size, especially when you're hosting a bunch of people. And then wait until you see. Well, first off, you guys saw my beautiful lavender cream KitchenAid from my grandma. That was around Christmas time. She gave it to me early. But my dream hunkery <laughs> in barrel glass cabinet guys beautiful these everything is from crate and barrel so these are red wine glasses from friends and family and then beautiful champagne glasses from my friend nicole in the back we have full nice sets of everything moving up to the top we got these highball glasses from my aunt these are perfect even if you're like not drinking alcohol these are good for lemonade water they're just so thin and dainty but a really good quality obsessed with those and then my friend diane got me these beautiful anthropology shot glasses guys are these not the prettiest shot glasses you've ever seen ever and yeah so we're having a very um sober june to prepare for our wedding but when july comes guys seriously so good but honestly i have the tart cherry juice to make that like nightcap i saw on alex garza's page so i may be fancy and use one of these but again i drink poppy olipop out of these it doesn't have to be wine Get yourself some good glasses if you don't, because trust me, they are worth the investment, especially the Crate and Barrel ones. But let's cook dinner together and let's see how this goes. The aftermath. So, gang, I cut up all of the tomato basil sausage and realized it's plenty for two people plus leftovers. So I'm going to save the sweet Italian. But I did all those seasonings I showed you guys. Olive oil, cut the Brussels sprouts up, random shapes and sizes, threw in the sausage, mixed it around. Oven is on preheated 400, so let's pop it in for 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll come back and look and see what we need to change it to. Waiting for the water to boil so that I can make the mac and cheese. That's kind of the final touches. I feel like I am bad with time. I always have something waiting, like this will hopefully line up perfectly, but we're trying. I inspired myself though, so I took one of my wine glasses with ice, and we're gonna be putting some Coke Zero in it. Elevate your lifestyle, people. I was just watching Mallory Irvin's behind the scenes of her summer launch shoot. I'm obsessed with her. Literally have been obsessed with her since like the OG Alex Garza days. And it's just so fun that you can just make happiness out of very little things. I do wish I had like some lime or some like seasoning with this, not seasoning, flavor with this because it's getting a little flat. I've had that for like a week, but cheers. Mmm, Diet Coke and Coke Zero, so good. I wanna get some of those lime packets I see on TikTok, like the fake true lemon and lime that you can put into drinks really easily, but this is so good. Also, update since December, I'm still obsessed with my Stanley that my friend Olivia got me for uh, Christmas. I need another color. I need to get the green. I would love to get my hands on the light purple. My brother got my mom for Mother's Day. I think the Citron one, I'm obsessed. Every time she brings it, I'm like, I need that. So if you have been debating getting one, it is worth the hype, I promise you that. I'm obsessed with mine, and I've been trying to drink three of those of water a day, which may be overkill, but it's making me feel good. So I'm just gonna prep the mac and cheese. Kind of is weird, cheese comes in here, but it's really good. Boil these noodles, and Tyler should be home in time for dinner, and we'll get his true review of what he actually thinks. Super easy and cheap meal. Though. Okay, here is the final product. It looks so good. We're ready for your live review on camera. Live review? Which one first? <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. The mac and cheese is bomb. I already had mm -hmm. that. Yeah. I think it's mm -hmm. so good. It's probably really hot. Well, actually, this has been done, so that's probably not that hot. It's really good. Are you saying that because you're on camera? <laughs> no. I'm excited. It's really good. Quick, easy, cheap, all these rocks. Try the seasoning's it. Seasoning's great. Yeah, I feel like I over-seasoned it, but mm -hmm. you really can't. Mm -hmm. 
So, okay, we're gonna eat dinner and then we'll catch back up with you guys. All right, guys, I am ending the vlog here. We are out on a walk with the dogs in the neighborhood and it's about to rain, as you can see from the back. But I wanted to thank you for watching this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe because there's gonna be a ton of more wedding content, honeymoon, fashion, lifestyle. I'm so excited to get back into it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.